I've just found this place called Mila's Kitchen. <laughs> you see what I mean about barley? They really do make an effort. So I'm stuck in this town for a bit. It's not exactly where I want to be, but it's fine. Now, the visa process has been a bit more complicated. They want an outbound ticket for every entry. And I wanted three entries. There's no way I'm buying three exit tickets. That's too much planning. But I bought two, because I do have to go to India and want to go to India in February. And also want to go to Penang, to the Durian place in May. So I booked those tickets, I've got a double entry visa, not as successful as I hoped, but it's good to know these things. And here, um, nice little restaurant. Uh, in terms of what I'm eating, raw till four has gone out the window and pretty much as high carb vegan. Um, I can't quite bring myself to, to tell them no oil, uh, no salt. And it's not because I'm shy or anything like that. You know, I'd ask them to bring it out on the top hat if I needed to. It's kind of like I don't want to. It's like that part of me that's like, oh, get a bit of fat in there. I'm on holiday after all. It's the same pattern as before. I'd be like, well, I'm on holiday after all. Let's get some burgers. That's in play, but it's a lot less damaging having a little bit extra fat while I'm cycling around on the bike. And this is a smoothie, smoothie shot in a glass. It's, uh, <laughs> It's um, wheatgrass. Yes, mixed with apple, ginger, and lime. Yeah, wheatgrass, apple, ginger, and lime. That's definitely high carb vegan. Thank, Thank you very you much, Tim. Cheers. <laughs> so yeah. Mmm. Oh, that's magic. But it's low. It's low calorie. Um, I think the challenge is, I can't find the fruits. I keep, well, when I do, I'm a bit suspect. It's like, it's all just new stuff. It's like, do I really want to buy three kilos of those green mangoes? I should do. So I'm kind of like, I'm eating very well compared to my population. But in terms of, you know, high carb vegan, raw to four raw, I'm not doing that. And I'm happy with it. You know, I'm cycling a lot here. I did 45K yesterday. Uh, in all kinds of conditions <laughs> for hours. It, it doesn't sound like a long distance, but trust me, it's a heck of a slog in this traffic with so many dodgy things in the road, focusing on all these cars and things. It's a, quite intense. Um, so I'm not worried about any of that, and I just see how it goes. I'm, I'm hoping I get more confidence with the fruit. I'm starting to get to the mangoes now. I've bought two bunches, a kilo each time and I feel confident, I think the next time on my way home I'll find the mango guy and I'll buy like six kilos, really get a good amount of fruit in and then try and find an actual proper fruit market. I haven't found one yet, it's surprising. Everyone sells juices but no one sells fruit. It's, uh, it makes me really appreciate Thailand. Anyway, what I've ordered here is um, a nice salad with a peanut sauce and tofu and I've also ordered uh, a pumpkin, a Japanese pumpkin soup and uh, we'll see how we go with that but I'm having fun visas ordered and after this, I'm, once I've got that I'm going to head up, well I'm going to go to the beach today have a bit of a swim oh yeah, beach <laughs> and after that I'm going to go and see who, who I know in a bud, I'm sure I've got some friends there find out who's about and uh, yeah, it's really exciting, really exciting. I, my, my final point I just want to make, make clear, it's not a good place to come for a triple entry visa because you've got to show flights out and that kills the deal. The point of having a triple entry is you do twice little bus rides to Maysai, but I've had to buy flights out of the country. That's put cold water on the Bali sneaky visa thing because there's nobody there. There's no queue. The Balinese Thai embassy is this big, there's this room. And there's one guy who lives in a house, basically it's his house, with a Thai flag. And you go outside, you give him the form, and you come back two days later. So anyway, without, unless you've got pre-booked flights, go to Penang for a single or Laos for a double. But the best thing to do is to get a triple before you come, just in case. Speak to you soon. Look at these walls in this restaurant. <laughs> so here's the restaurant, look at these walls. 
I mean, I love architecture. It's like, but, but, but who designs walls like that? That's incredible. It looks like a miniature cliff face. It's just amazing. And it goes all the way around over there. <laughs> they bring the rice out as a heart, look. And then there's this um, salad with peanut sauce. You can tell it's fatty, but I'm not really going to get down that road today. And there I've got the soup. So delicious. It's really good. I don't know what else to say. 